All right, well, hello. Uh, good evening. I'm here with a glass of sparkling water. It's pretty delicious. I'm gonna make some uh, tuna melts today and a little twist on them. They'll be on sweet potatoes instead of bread just because I love sweet potatoes. It's gonna be sweet potato, some tuna salad, marinara, and then cheese on top. So pretty tasty, pretty easy, pretty quick. So overall just a banger of a meal. It's kind of a choose your own adventure sort of meal. This is just a baseline for some idea of what you might want to do, but you know, change it up based on what you have on hand or what your flavor preferences are. Onion cutting trick. I learned this when I worked at a pizza restaurant. So I could cut a ridiculous amount of onions in less time. Um, so yeah, go through a few times like that. And then just grab on. You want to bear claw it so you don't cut your fingers. And just slice down like that, and you've got a nicely diced onion pretty quickly. Crying. They give me every time the onions. Ugh. Yeah, stir that puppy a bit. My contribution. Sue Chef Spencer. His specialty, stirring. You're just, you're so good at it. tomato sauce. You can also just use any jar of marinara sauce or red sauce, but I like to spruce it up a little bit just because I think it makes a big difference in flavor and it's pretty easy. I just like to cut the sweet potatoes on like a slant, so like at an angle so that the rounds are a little bit bigger than if you just cut them, like cut it straight. You want to cut like kind of thin slices of sweet potato, so about that thick. Got a few of these. Here's a fun little trick, just to cook them a little bit. Pop them in the toaster, and then let them go. All right, pulling our sweet potatoes out of the toaster. They don't really look toasted, but they're softened up a bit, so they won't be as hard because um, they're not going to cook a ton when they're just broiling in the oven. And I think the toaster broke. <laughs> In the midst of cooking this, the toaster broke. So we're going to plan B. Um, I'm gonna microwave the sweet potato slices for a minute or two, um, just so they soften up a bit before they go in the oven. The toaster just could not keep up, keep up with the high speed lifestyle that we were trying to put it through. So this is, this is where we're at. Putting up tuna. And then you're going to want to drain it as well. You do it again within that clip as well, so maybe yeah. Hi, sure. if it was filling my foot. <laughs> well, we all know that's what the fans want to see anyways. done and I'm tearing up about the, the toaster situation. Also, I don't want to hear any comments about how I should be using a serrated knife to cut a tomato. I know, I just don't want to get another knife dirty. So, you know, maybe just keep them to yourself, thanks. That's the stuff. Like I said, this is how I usually measure. When I write 
write down measurements and estimations. Just like, you know, add, start with a little bit, add more until it tastes good. I will be the first to say that this looks absolutely disgusting right now. I am so sorry you are looking at a zoomed in video of this. It could be cat food, but it's gonna taste good. Another thing I really like to add to this is like Kalamata olives or capers for a little bit more of that briny flavor. Um, I just don't have any with me because um, a lot of my pantry staples, you know, I don't have since I just got to Albuquerque. So it's time to start assembling. We've got our tuna, salad, uh, the marinara, and then some cheese. So I'm just gonna put it on top of the sweet potatoes. Um, and yeah, that's when the magic happens. Looks fine. Okay, and then just like a little spoon of marinara on top of each of them. This is totally optional. I just really like the flavor it adds. Honestly, I feel like cheese is a good addition to anything that I'm making. I love cheese. What about ice cream? Um, that is also a good addition to anything I'm making. Not that I add it, just that I always have it afterwards. But what about cheese and ice cream? I actually had a cheese ice cream at Salt and Straw once and it was delicious. So it was like apple pie cheddar and I would recommend. So I think my statement about cheese stands up to your question that you were hoping would foil me, but it didn't. <laughs> Allie hates chocolate, so. Yeah, I mean, comment down below if you also don't like chocolate because then we can commiserate about how weird people think we are for not liking the most disgusting food on the planet. Here they are, folks. Um, also, usually I would use shredded cheese, but we had some sliced cheese, so I just chucked it on there. If you don't like cheese or you're dairy-free, you don't have to add cheese. You could always um, put some extra nutritional yeast on top. Yeah, so sliding them in. This is on broil, so I'm just trying to melt the cheese and get it nice and browned. While those are broiling, I'm just gonna make a quick salad. So I julienned some sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna char them in this pan with probably like some salt and pepper. Um, and then I'll chop up um, this, the rest of this avocado and an apple. Throw it on some spinach and call it a day. Oh, boiled to perfection. Look at that melty cheese. Mm. That took no time at all. I know. It was, it was like probably three minutes in the broiler, so. Some may call this burnt. I call it charred. Artfully charred. Everything's ready. <laughs> Safety first, you never know if the chair might be hot. <laughs> Iced. <laughs> <laughs> we are locked and loaded. Yeah, I'm trained in martial arts. <laughs> she tried to make a joke, it's okay. <laughs> Comment down below if it was funny. <laughs> Look, the great thing about editing is that I can add in laughter. So it doesn't matter if my jokes are good. <laughs> Look at the melted cheese. The cheese. Look at that thick layer of sweet potato with the marinara and the cheese. Such a combo. Uh, let me put the camera down and eat it too. I'm so hungry. Okay, time for the opinion that everyone actually cares about. Happening. Just like how I remember it. It's so good. I, you you think it's, it is crunchy, but I like when it's crunchy. You're like, I don't know, the crunch makes it so good to me. I love that texture of the cheese and the meltiness. Anyways, uh, we're gonna be eating now, so. Ending this video here, but uh, 
this is the this is the food situation. We got the the salad, the sweet potato tuna melts. Yeah. See ya.